you washed it. Get out of here. You annoy me, Alan. And I don't want to see you again. You understand? Where's Alan? I have no idea. I'll go and find him. What's the matter? Can't you live for one minute without him? Hey, what's eating you? Just give him some money and send him away. Oh, what's been going on? Nothing's been going on. I'm tired of having him under my feet. Has he tried any funny business? No. No. But since he's arrived, you and I have had nothing but problems between us. Anyhow, in about a month the tourist season begins. Then he won't be on your feet so much. And don't forget to buy some beer. Not ready? Oh, yes, we're nearly out of it. And some sugar, too. Eh? All right, beer and sugar. I won't forget, don't worry. <laughs> See you later, then. Will you buy me a nice pair of shoes? Nice pair. Yeah, more shoes is on Mitch. Well, I'd like to start now. Looks well, okay, then. That's what you want, I'll get you some shoes. <laughs> hey, what kind do you want? High heels, sandals? What kind? You choose them. Okay, see you later. What do you want? What's the matter with you? Forget about what we did the other night. All right, Alan? Huh? Why should I? If Anton ever finds out, it will be the end for both of us. Hey, look. If you tried to rape me, I probably couldn't stop you. But if you do, then I swear, I'll cut you up in pieces when you're better. Why are you acting this way? Because you're not a real man. What did you say that for? If you were a man, you wouldn't allow me to be treated like low-grade trash, like a slave girl the way I'm treated by Antoine. Why don't we go away from here together? Oh, sure. Both of us living on ten bucks a month in a poor house. Wherever we went, Antoine would come and find me. You really love me? You know I love you. Do you really love me very much? Do you love me enough to do anything at all for me? Yes. Then, darling, I want you to kill him. 